Cup. Two more games to go and a spot in the grand finals on the line. Miami Sims, this is Avenger Martin. I think it's safe to say that now, quite literally for some of these teams, it's crunch time. It is definitely crunch time and I am excited. I am happy to see some of these contender teams come here, show what they're made of. We have a very nice plane here to begin with. And I'm curious to see if we're going to see Desperado go join Vitality in Minas Generalis or if Vitality is going to go somewhere else. Because the reason for the hot drops in the two last games was because that Desperado won their old fantastic loot spot back because they know all the rotations from there they like the loot they like the kind of the start position and it's also extremely central to the map it's one of the kind of the three in the triangle of hacienda pecado and minas it's kind of one of the three in the, in the main spot from there well, and i think it's fair to uh, fair, excuse me it's safe, safe to, to say, say yeah that right now they have qualified and for them mm. these games are just kind of going to be smurfing games where they want to do whatever <laughs> they want mm. and if anyone wants to challenge them then it's the people who will be challenging that are essentially going to be in a deficit, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, Vitality, they have definitely mixed it up a little bit. They're going to be looting the La Bandita trash area and the compounds around Los Leones. So this is a this is a good mix-up. And this is a nice adaptive kind of play from them. And I think they expected this. But now Vanga and uh, Red Diamond, they're also going to be in the same area. I think they're going to be going kind of trying to get a bit further. But they're going to be kind of struggling to get all the way to El Asaha. Let's see how uh, how they kind of get the boots on the ground and start looting. Wow, this is a wisdom. Mm. This is trial by fire. I like it. Mm. Okay, well, only <laughs> about 60 to maybe 70% of the playing field actually accessible. Due to that cliff face, you have the one that kind of struts out as well, which might dictate where the circle goes, bouncing it around again. Because it's inaccessible, the circle will not be going there. It will be avoiding it. How far and what it does to the avoidance area is a completely different story altogether. There's a couple of other mountains around there which we've seen tendencies, I want to say, especially with the creative fields following yeah. certain areas and certain patterns. Again, these are completely random, but doing the research and looking at how many we've had before and how many games we've had over a certain amount of time now, we can generally guesstimate where things might potentially be going to. We've seen so many endings around the power grid area. Uh, we've seen a lot of endings in the, in the kind of the fields of El Paso. And some of these areas are definitely well known. You know, you remember the, the crater fields ending we had, but the compound just south of crater fields as well. It kind yep. of jumps away from crater fields. But it's definitely an interesting area. I like to see kind of these new areas and these new circles where we're, we're trying these these teams and, and throw curveballs at them. It's, it's a long time ago since I've seen some of these trailer park and some of these endings up where M19 is currently, but they are also very nice. There's a lot of kind of natural cover, and I like to see that as well. Vanga here in picture, currently sitting in fourth place with 68 points. They need to have um, a decent game here the next two games, and, and they're going to be kind of safe, but there's still some space down and kind of a, a back line there. The desk talked a bit about it, and, and the teams that definitely need to step up is obviously Razor Edge, Reciprocity, and Knights. For some of the teams that are able to kind of catch up, Unity sitting in the ninth place, Vitality sitting in the tenth place with 50 points. So they are looking at right now at not be going into the finals if they don't have a big game and, and kind of continue their, their points they've had today so far. So let's see who's kind of sitting on the edge there. I mean, it's still pretty close, even when you look from fourth place downwards. Evanga was 68 points, and as I say that, mm. boom, boom, boom. Thank you very much, guys in the back. 68 all the way down. I mean, even to 11th place, fourth to 11th is, is a very mere 18 points, and that yep. is quite literally one game. You get the win for the 10 if you hit double-digit figures on kills. Done. Job done. You're up there with it within the top three quite easily. Um, so anything still possible for anybody... Even I think it, it starts to get a little bit more difficult down from 12 to 16. An octave first player to fall here in this game. Rather unfortunate, looking for a vehicle. Where is this going to be kicking? So this is all the way a little bit further afield. Again, looking for those vehicles. As very Max uh, will be up at the top end from Tierra Bronca. Snoopy completely in the middle of nowhere as well. So a rather split I don't want decision. to call this guy. Say again, sorry? I don't want to call this guy. Is it Bum Bum or Um Um or is the A's B2Bs? I think it has to be Bum Bum. Yeah, right? Surely. Otherwise, I'll, I'll ask. I mean, you're, you're not going to say 8 Um, 8 Um. It could also be Num Num. If 8 could be in some way of like saying in. I don't know. I got to ask some of the guys. It's an interesting name. It's definitely Bum Bum. I, it's Bum Bum. Okay, if it let's, isn't, let's then commit I'll, to Bum Bum. You know what? I will literally make him change his name. <laughs> 
to say, look, I'm sorry, you are now officially called Bomb Bomb. Anyway, moving on. One of on. the other teams that has been doing very good here, we just saw them in the picture, is Seven Esports. Currently sitting in second place, 83 points, 54 kills. The, their best place is uh, third place with 12 kills, but they have been consistently fracking out. Edelweiss has been one of them, and I'm extremely happy and extremely excited to see these guys kind of move in, and they're definitely going to be in the, in the grand finals so far. We can see they're, they're, they have too big of a lead to, to do that. Razor Edge are going to be moving out of San Martin, and they're going to be doing it quite early and quite fast on two two-seaters. So they have kind of the adaptiveness of being able to take some of these high ground position very fast with these two-seaters moving in. What's your thoughts on Razor Edge so far, this new Ross and House coming together? Well, uh, it's obviously uh, it's, the cup is good kind of warm up for them going into phase two. Um, I think the, the roster is nice. I think it's, it's, a big, it's a big change. They have potential, but I, I definitely think it's a loss for them losing um, Snark and Wanted. I think Snark and Wanted was definitely their best players. They played amazing and they continue to do so even, even in a completely new roster here. And Wanted had five kills last game and he continues to frag out. He continues to put in a lot of damage and, and put out these points. Knights are currently sitting in 13th place, but they're only 11 points behind 8th place right now. Snoopy taking some shots here. Going to Red Diamonds, the real KPE. Oh, that's a nice shot there, connecting just one more. One more to the neck, and he's going to be knocked out. Keep trying to get a redemption for an Octave's early death here. I would say it's obviously a deficit, and everyone knows that, losing a player so earlier on, but hell. Vitality won the first round, and they lost one of their actual the best fraggers, Narsus, in the first few minutes of the game, literally in under two minutes, job done. Unity going for a very northern heavy path, just transferring past local area. Vanga will be following around. He actually hit that. Oh my. Okay. Wait, well, was the, what? Yeah, he actually he literally just hit him in the back of the head. Literally the last shot. Wow, that's insane. F. What a what a F. Big F in the chat. That is uh, that's insane. That's a distance as well. How far is that, Snoopy? That's about 500 meters, I'd say. Amazing shot. He's gonna be uh, he's gonna be pulling up on that and punching him out and taking his loot. Tornado energy here. Ooh, wreck a, a class. They'll hear this. Are they going? You know, so they're continuing through. I wonder if they know that tornado is actually up on this hillside. How many players are with the rest of it? They're in a two-two split here. So wreck. Definitely will have the man advantage. However, they don't have the high ground. They'll be off the low. Snoopy finishes <laughs> off KPE. Right, if you job see done. All Raffi comes around the corner. XT misses all of his shots. Raffi just goes ducking behind. Now the punishment will fall back. Kamka is there in support. But remember, it's Wreck. Actually, I want to say it's Wreck who's had the, uh, the numbers advantage. It's still only two. Raffi finally does find X team confirmation instantly. No getting up from that one. Knocks him, kills him. Job done. Kamka has to now fall back, but they know two are here. Grenades initially coming out. Can't, he can't get away in a vehicle. Might just hope to get his health back and really hold down this building. There is two floors that he can play off the back of. Unfortunately for him, rest of reciprocity. Hex, K9 in hand. Bolt action to try and seal the deal here. And it's a nice little position, so I can see why it was quite important to try and take that fight from both sides. It's, it's central of the circle. Well, almost a little bit more weighted towards the south, but certainly a decent position. Ooh, look at this rotation here, seven. Been waiting for this. Six was going to be going down to Avic. B's oh going to be my. blown up. And now Frank Carrier is going to be spotting more and more shit to come out. From Baki and beautiful death there. We're going to be forced to turn around here. Murd as well. So Baki he actually jumped out of his car, so he's going to be on the low ground here. He must have literally hit every single bullet because it's a full clip of AKM. One full clip and it's yeah. job done. So he literally must have tagged every single bullet. That's, that's a decent spray down to pick up the point. Again, if you're inside a vehicle, there's no, there's no knock. You're going up in smoke and a ball of flames along with it. Head-on oh. collision here. <laughs> Both Turkish rosters eyeing each other up. A beautiful death goes by. Mimo puts a few bullets down. They're giving up all this information, though, because the rest of We Need a Home are just waiting in the distance. Bullets in the back of the head. Bam, back here, vehicle. Another one goes up in a ball of flames in the circle. Oh, actually, wait. This was a different one. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm with it now. I'm confusing myself a little bit. A beautiful death does fall to the zone. So they won't pick up that point. That's a zone knock. Remember, you do have to either get the knock on, confirming in the blue, we need a home. May get the uh, the initial warning and go and clean that one up, but it depends how many more people are from there. Meanwhile, Besiktas is going to be coming in a very late rotation here. They could, they're going to be rotating straight into we need a home. We need a home also. They're jumping into their cards. They're going to be leaving here. Navi, though, on the fight. They're fighting M19 currently. The zone, meanwhile, has shifted very far north and is centering around the northern side of El Paso. Pokemon with a nice connection onto KA-17. Do the job and force him behind. He'll have to heal up from this one. A doozy 
Realizes that he has the position, and, uh, and Pokemon will now be communicating that he has no helmet behind it. Actually, was that my mistake? He may start at a, a level two. A beautiful death does bleed out, so no one takes that point because it was a zone knock. A lot of damage. I'm surprised no one actually advanced on that to try and seal the point. And even another look at this one. Yeah, he's wearing a level two, which is the dark one. Didn't quite get a hold of it. So, Kaz still in a very difficult spot here. His vehicle's in no man's land, and it's lost a tire. Well, all four of Navi are just looking his way. As you're actually going to see in the distance, teetering around circle. Let's have a quick chat about that. It did go towards to the north. Unity up by Trailer Park. Desperados holding back a Vanga still on the crater fields. Red Diamonds coming in on the west. Still down south, we've got three teams. Digital Athletics, We Need a Home, and then Besiktas. With it all at the moment, this would be a very nice pickup for We Need a Home after what we've seen on Twitter. A bit of turmoil and a bit of, of a bit of trash going. talking here and there. Yeah, it's um, the whole point of esports, right? I yeah, said, I said the whole point of esports. It's not the whole. It's what happens? Well, the I, I, I just I love rivalry. PUBG has been too nice so far. The community is very nice to each other, but we need some rivalry. We need some we need some trash talk. We had a nice, interesting interview from Tommel. It's interesting that the fact that it's like a, a non-Turkish roster on a Turkish team, essentially, mm. um, or a Turkish organization, should I say? Oh, what Turkish a nice players. need from a doozy. That's a, a Kobe and a half. Perfect cut. Oh, shots are coming in from uh, Unity. They could steal That's this. Steal. This is Batsu Lins. Cheeky. He's, he's just going to be yoinking that away. Seven. CIS action. Yeah. Seven also with the road. Oh, no. Navi's going to be joining into this. This is our three-way fight right here. Razor Edge is joining in a lot. We'll continue the fight forward. Jazza. Knox and confirms fast rail. I think Coldamento is also involved in that. You mentioned it was a three-way, so they're still on the side of Crater Fields. Pollock will be able to see Bishik just pulling up here. Seems he's the last one to join the rest of the crew over there. They are inside the circle. We've got Rec also on the transfer in the distance. And they say that would pop up in their POV to try to get themselves a little bit of a home here. We need a home. Speaking of home, still not yet inside the zone. Mert, the last man for DA. Out just by Monte Nuevo. Here comes We Need a Home on the transfer. Francario. I'll try and lay down some fire. A lot of teams here in the south still. Seven is still here. Reciprocity is still here. And the six are coming in. We need a home. Digital Lead is also coming in now. The zone is going to close. It's going to go north. We're going to have a very interesting ending here. Shift, take some shots here. Uh, we need a home. Trying to connect there. Buster with a nice headshot onto Lipson. It's okay not getting the uh, getting the point, but the amount of damage that's been done to all these players and the vehicles mm. as well, it just becomes even more difficult through the rotates. I'm intrigued to see Ooh. if Wreck do get their fallen player back up. I'm seeing one that's near. And again, it's just like that shift. Forces L device back. Hex is back on his feet. Lipson will bleed out. So originally got the, the knock. We'll pick up the points. Paula. Hex. Okay. To the back of the head, so it's gonna be stolen. It is. Yep. Pollard mm. direct. It's gonna be taken by Buster. Lipson's gonna bleed out. Otherwise, he's gonna get that. And these are vital points, man. That Rick kind of need. Rick definitely needs these. They are currently nine points behind the eighth place. So they're gonna be uh, needing ten points to get ahead of the eighth spot currently. B6 is with a very slow rotate here. They're going to be driving just between seven and reciprocity, but they're also kind of considering moving now. Shots are coming in though from the seven guys. Shots not connecting just yet. Four kills so far from seven just by sitting here, but they're not going to be in a good spot in, the, in this circle. But there's a lot of cover, a lot of natural cover inside the zone already. But you need to stop, you need to scout. We need a home, take some shots of sixes as well. Needs to take the big rotate all the way around here. Murray is taking some shots. Rafi Schiff is going to be hit by Dimash. That's uh, M19 picking up some points here. Schiff is going to be finished as well. He's been tanked as he tried to make his way outside. A knock from the vehicle. The rest of Wreck. There's no saving that man. Leave him beat. And he's dead and confirmed. DA, speaking of confirmed, 16 spot will be on their tombstone. As we are in game number three here. We'll have to wait till the next one and the last one to try and make something happen. Thankfully, they are in sixth place, but a 16 spot like that when your placement is still rather fragile, it's not going to be good. Scoom and Rafi holding it down. They're inside the circle, not too deep. Raise your edge a little bit further afield. We still got the rest and the remnants 
we saw earlier on from Tornado Energy there, just ahead of them in the north in the town, little compounds and a, and a, a bit of a ditch, I want to say. Navi still sitting strong. The circle's been favourable to them. They have a good amount of land grab and plenty of opportunities to do something along the roadside if somebody does want to transfer their back. I wouldn't expect people to actually be going on the road at this point. It's Nark with a very quick headshot to zero. It's SLR doing its job and hello, Senpai. We got the Knights knocking at the door. The shields are up. I think they're going to make an advancement on this one, Martin. Yeah, they're going to be pushing in this crowd crowd. Currently sitting inside this house here, and Knights, they have the upper Stolen. hand. Stolen. Stolen, Nemeroth, yep. What? That's from uh, all the way up north, a few hundred meters away as well. Set, taking some shots. I had wanted. He is a very capable man himself. Oh, nice angle here from Snark with a headshot onto Kemba. They're going to be pushing in on this. What's one? That's two. Oh no, Senpa. Oh, that's well, very well played. Very nice angle from him. Set is going to be taking some more shots at Reels. He's in another position here, so he's not going to be able to pick up his lost teammates. Zone has gone away, and it has gone in the area here of the trailer park area that we haven't seen in a long time. Centering up very nicely on Navi. We do have a long, big road in the middle where the teams, they have to decide which side they're going to be going on, but Definitely Unity, Evanga, Navi is looking to be in a good spot. Desperados also in a good spot. Rage your edges angle, Martin, paired off. That's just stole two of those away from the Knights. And again, the Knights need as many points as they can humanly grab. Unfortunately, we'll lose out even though they're doing the work trailer park. You'll see Besiktas have made their entry point to the circle there. They'll hold back We Need a Home just outside in the blue, directly in front of them. You've got Unity, POV at the moment, Nemeref, Rage your edge again. Another team looking to jump into the Grand Finals, 11th place at the moment, 50 points on the dot. Two kills in the bag, every single point's worth it. Every single kill you can sneak away, and these angles that they've been holding have actually been detrimental to the Knights. They lost two vital points they could have picked up on the, on the knocks they actually initially took, but they didn't pick up the frags as one who tries to run the gauntlet. Raining down hell, a fire here, set. Also another person, this near, though Elder Vice has the information where the players will be. It's oh. up, it's over. He does a little bit of damage, but Narsus answers back. 53 done to him. Here comes Shadow and the rest of them, though. Maxi with an AWM in the kill feed. Keeping eyes on that one going forward. Elder Vice and Kravik, back to back they fall. Frank Rio, he also has to fall as well. He's damaged. Buster's hit the deck from a different angle altogether. And all of a sudden, Seven, they have just been completely broken apart. Meanwhile, Desperado here, Calvin Klein with another kill. Our current top, ooh, ooh. nice shots from Alpha though, returning the headshot. Our current top fragger, Calvin Klein, amazing player. And so far, they've been proving themselves immensely here in this lobby. Frank Harris gonna be taking down Nasus. This is not good for Vitality. They've so far been struggling a little bit, besides their win. Well, this is gonna be taking them down, and they're gonna be coming into the circle. They're gonna be losing one of their players, or one more of their players, like said here with the return. This is Knights, they're trying to get in, and. Hax is going to gatekeep them here from this angle. That is another knock here from Hax. A nice nade around the corner. No, they only have Snark to feel this up. They need to mop this up. They need these points as well. He's Snark gone. has been found. Which will mean that the points for the two knocks do go the way of Reciprocity. They had the knock, so it's job done. They keep going in this one, but they are furthest outside of the circle. We saw a nice little push from Vitality up in the northern edge, which cleaned out seven very typical Vitality players to all move as a unit when they do confirm to something. They do look nasty. Just a whole bunch of players running in to mop up. But they do have Besiktas in front of them, and they blow on their back. Not too much cover once they make it over the hillside. Wreck is slowly wandering. Looks like Hax actually has a read on where the rest of Reggie Reg. Oh, They've been Hax. sat for a while. He actually made a comment to us that he's not been missing with that K98, Martin. I'll tell you what. Ooh, yes, what, what the hell just happened there? That's Besiktas. They heard the Vitality fight and they put up a, a trap for them, effectively taking down three of these players. Besiktas currently sitting in atop of the, one of the top spots here. Scoob's going to find Menox, and this is not good for Razor Edge. Razor Edge needed these points. The circle's going to send out very nicely. As you see, Tornado Energy is also pushing onto this, and Navi is joining this fight. Menax is going to be going down to the zone, but the point is going to go the right way of the knocker. Calvin Klein continues to put points and bodies on the board. It's a nice at Dyson. and Emmerer, the last player standing, I believe, for Rage Your Edge. We'll try and make it out of the circle. Once it comes out, of the blue will be heavily damaged. A doozy. He's tickling one of the players, Compot. Trying to get an eye line onto Rafi. He's got the vehicle to play at the back of some defensive side. Nemereth, though, has been a nuisance from the blue. He's been that guy. That guy is so detrimental. Oh, dear. Everything's just going wrong for Wreck. 
outside of the blue may have just ruined their chances here in game number three because this basically just leaves it to, down to Rafi to try and stay alive. When you've got M19 on one side on your left and you've got Tornado ringing down bullets <laughs> from afar on your right, how much further he can really go in this game, I do not know, but that is just so disappointing. Time and time again, we'll see it. The Lone Ranger from the blue just completely destroys all your chances. So we're a real player from Nevermouth. Shots are coming out from Avanga onto Desperado. They have joined or jumped into this ditch. The Seeks are repositioning all their cars so they can use this them later. They're only taking a northern position inside the zone, so they're going to need those cars if they make a, want to make a run for it. A Ducey have spotted the Desperado guys. Got to put all their vehicles into this little ditch here on the edge. Navi still sitting very comfortable in this compound. Very central. A lot of control. And also from a high ground position compared to some of the other spots. Yeah, the elevation that they can get from that little building, the long one anyway, is, is pretty good. You can come out either end of it with the balconies. I believe it's not building anywhere. Um, downstairs, you've got to flood it. You can't get upstairs apart from perpendicular entry points. Melman forced to run here. Rafi did pick up Compot, I believe. Talzira and Desperados alongside Calvin Klein there. All the Desperados are still kind of chunked together, at least for now. Helmet again, still on the run side. Rafi does find him. So good job from Rafi. Picked up two from Tornado Energy. Stole one. And yep. then bang the other, which gets him a placement. It doesn't get any... Uh, actually gets him a placement point, at least. So he is working his way up. And again, for Rek, it's uh, backs against the wall. Needs to pick up as much as humanly possible here. You can see, actually, straight off the back of that one, Rek have jumped into eighth place. So qualification at the moment. Tied up with Unitim. Again, if there is a tie, usually... With the super rule state comes down to how many kills and the most kills will advance. Desperados just continue the charge up top, 112 points, which is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually insane. Kind of some of the similar to the run we saw NIP have in London in their group stage. Let's hope Desperado can continue this going into the grand finals. And Shrink is going to come in and it's going to go very central again on Navi. They didn't need this per se, but they're definitely looking very nicely comfortable here in the top three currently. Shots are going to come in. This Talcera is going to take down Maxi, so it's going to be continued. This Esrin and Lox is going to join the fight on Avanga as well. Snoopy's the last player now from Avanga. And Shots will be coming in from Desperado. And Pesiktas has joined as well on the northern side. They decided to join this party. Lox is going to take down Esrin and finish him off. You'd see the Snoopy being able to just commit to that fight for the simple fact that he was le wearing level 3 gear, I believe. But it doesn't matter because they get split between two and they go down. Pesiktas joined the fight. Ultra will be getting the pickup on to Tomil. Get the cannonball back on his feet and let him loose. Done some serious work so far this weekend. It's been great to see from the Desperados. Uh, Desperados, excuse me, from Besiktas. I'm looking at the wrong players there. Two players alive, though. A couple of warning shots coming from Navi on the opposing side. They'll get the vehicle, which might be able to get them the reposition. However, it's stuck on a hillside and slows them down just for now. Navi, you can see bottom right-hand side of your screen here. Oh, this is a nice pull-up. Got to be careful, though, because that thing's smoking. Get out, boys. Too late. And all of a sudden, best of luck finishes them off. Tau Zero bleeds out. Unity, while all this fight's been going on, the reposition going inside the circle. Mimo being kept at bay just on the north. The biggest amount of work they have to do here is Besiktas. Again, you touched on the elevated line of sight that Navi potentially have. Because that compound is slightly on a bit of a plateau. They should find Mimo, 24 on recurrent as well. M19 still lingering. And I'll tell you who's been laughing out of all this. It's Rafi. Every single team yep. that dies, like, well, that's another point in the back, boys. Nox is going to take down Memo. Sims is going to be knocked, but it looks like they're going to be able to pick him up, though. Sony's is coming in. No, it's not, he's not going to be able to pick him up. It's not going to be time. Smokes are coming in. Oh, the rotations are continuing. They're still not inside the zone. They're going to be losing everything from Simsy. He might want to drop some of the stuff that could be useful for the guys going forward. Preferably some uh, utility, nades and smokes. And uh, maybe even some uh, medicals. I think Navi's done him a favor because we can see that two players yeah. on Unity are down and out, which forces you at least to put another player to pick them back up. So at any one time, Unity are going to have three players out of the game. One of them on the res, two of them being revived or getting the heels off. It leaves Recrent to try and hold the line and see what's going on. Seems he does get finished off now. We have spotted Besiktas. But again, that little bit of breathing, Ooh, that, that lifeline. Oh, this is clever. He just moved a little bit there. The one thing we do have to touch on about Besiktas, I know we're focusing on them quite a lot, but they've been knocked a, few, a fair amount of times now. Their gear's mm. starting to become wary and weak. 
Broken battered on the helmets. And we look at the chests. Rafi now forced to move. M19 have made a big move as well. A play onto Unity. Big grenade knocks Orange. Goes up in smoke for the vehicle. Doesn't do the damage though. Recrent is bleeding at the wayside though. Sadovnik forced to heal. He's out of the battle for now. Which basically just comes down to Batulin. But oh, Lux. Oh, dear. This could be a, be a nade. A massive nade. Else was going to find Orange. No, nade didn't go far, far enough. Oh, the response though. Yeah, it's going to be turning around on that. Shots are coming in from Lux. Oh, he's going to be found as well by Sadovnik. Talked about this. They've been they've been worn out, so they have no more helmets. They have no more kind of utility, any durability left in their armor. So it's going to be a lot easier. Knocks one shot in their face, and they're going to be knocked instead. Lux is going to go down. Now it's all up to Tommel. Tommel's already had a knock himself earlier on. Navi are actually getting clever on this. I can see one of the players, Senya, he's overextending away a doozy. Does get battered by Tommel, finds his face, knocks him down for now on the K9. Forced to make a move though, but Senya has been very, very greedy. He left the compound a while ago. Tommel has answered back, but he is forced to move. Might be able to get himself in a, in a tiny little shack in the middle of nowhere. M19 forced to move as well. They're inside. Unity is on their left. You've got Navi across the road. Tommel gone. Senya's positioning. An overextension paid off. He went to the north end of the circle and copped for that one sneaky player. Navi basically can just own this. They have a compound, they have center circle. Everyone else is fighting one another across the road. An elevated line of sight. This should be their win unless they drop the ball. Sanya again from this off angle will keep laying into the back end of M19. And don't forget, all this has been going on. Rafi has been creeping and peeping. Yeah, Rafi's playing it really well here. He's going to try to get into the zone here and not. He's going to take down Pokemon, that looks like, or at least try to. There's only 10 players alive. He's going to be found, though. He's going to be taking some shots. The best like he's going to be going down to Pokemon, though, in the end, that turned on him with the M4 headshot. Now, Navi with seven kills. They're going to be pushing on this third part of this fight, completely jumping out of their compound and just smashing as much as they can, mopping up the remnants, remnants of this fight. Eight kills for them so far, and now Nate's coming out on Unity. The thing is, when you look at your top three at the moment, we've got Navi in here sitting in third. We saw Besiktas just going out early, running fourth or fifth. All these teams are Doozy. teams at the top, which makes it even rougher for people trying to interject themselves into that top eight. And again, Navi should just clear this one out. This will be a nice big game for them, confirming... Ooh, I spoke to... No, I didn't. Not a problem. GG Navi. This roster is looking like what we wanted from the CIS organization. Coming into phase number one, they didn't show up exactly what we expected, but with a few team changes, Martin, this is the roster and the level that we're expecting